We're back from All Things Open 2025, one of the largest tech conferences on the East Coast, featuring talks on Kubernetes, AI frameworks, and the latest in cloud native technology. Held in Raleigh, North Carolina, this is year 13 with the biggest turnout yet. The conference was packed full of speakers and vendors, all showing off their latest open source solutions. So what were we doing there? Come with us to find out. For this year's show, we joined on as a media sponsor, and it was super exciting to see our logo amidst big hitters like the Free Software Foundation. We teamed up with NetActuate, a global edge infrastructure provider, to create an exhibit to showcase both of our brands. We've of course done vintage computer events before, but showing retro tech in a space dominated by the latest in AI was daunting. We weren't sure, nor were the ATO organizers, how it would all be received. During early discussions, everyone agreed that the nostalgic sounds of a dial-up modem would be an obvious attention getter. The modem would connect to our recreation of a dial-up ISP using equipment we've showcased over the past couple of years in videos. We coordinated with NetActuate to figure out how to represent both brands in the allotted floor space. After plenty of brainstorming, we decided on building a truss system to take advantage of the vertical space. The exhibit would be named Dial-Up to DevOps to showcase the evolution of internet infrastructure from the 1990s to today. Just the power thing you're talking about. With a plan in place, Mark and I first started to mock up a setup in a rack with all of the equipment we'd need. We included a selection of mid to late 90s gear, from the Livingston Portmaster 3 to the Cobalt Rack 4. We also had some more modern equipment playing a supporting role, like the Cisco IAD and a Microtik router. On the user side, we opted for our Dell Dimension XPS D300 with a Pentium 2 processor from 1998. Along with a US Robotics Courier V.Everything 56K modem. With everything hopefully working, we packed up and headed into the unknown. Getting the exhibit set up at the venue was an ordeal, involving large freight elevators and a joint team effort to safely move everything into place. Power was supplied from this three-phase breakout cable, as well as an ethernet drop for our internet connectivity. We also decided to use our T1 setup to make it extra authentic. So we brought along the Cisco 2501 router and the AdTrans CSU DSU to make the setup complete. And given we had the Cisco IAD in place, we included a telephone with access to both FreakNet and the public switched telephone network and a helpful calling directory for curious visitors. Once both sides of the booth were complete, we were ready. Day one started quiet without much activity, but then someone heard the modem and things escalated quickly. The exhibit turned out to be a huge success. The courier speaker blaring the modem handshake would literally stop people in their tracks and we had hundreds of visitors over the two days. For some college students, this was their first time ever using or even hearing a dial-up modem. You hear the modem? <laughs> Sorry, this is a dial-up modem, and so it's <laughs> Older attendees, on the other hand, had mixed reactions. Some fondly remembered their first internet connection, while others visibly winced, clearly reliving the agony of slow and inconsistent modem connections. The event was a whirlwind, and we ended up with nearly 90 successful dial-ins over the course of the two-day event. <laughs> so mission accomplished, and thank you to NetActuate as well as All Things Open, and of course, everyone who stopped by the booth to share their memories of the dial-up era.